Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. I'm going to do a very basic tutorial about how to use a session in uh, ExpressJS and Node.js, the framework. So I saw a pretty good tutorial earlier today on YouTube just about uh, using session and tracking the view counts. So uh, we are going to do a similar thing uh, basically and uh, just maybe grab the visit counts if you haven't been there or uh, maybe we're just going to sort of see a, uh, a username and a visit count. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open up my iTerm. So it's a, a sort of more uh, friendly sort of version of Bash uh, that I just downloaded. And I'm going to change directory to my desktop. I'm going to remove this directory session visits. Remove it. Remove directory session visits. Yeah. Ah, all right. Well, I don't want to deal with that. So let's just do make directory session example. I'm going to change directory into there. Session example. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and touch uh, server.js. And I'm also going to touch package.json. Let me see real quick what the preferences are. Preferences. Go back into desktop and session example. Clear this out. Let's see what we have. So we got all that. That's good. That's pretty much all we need. I'm just going to install Express Mongo or Express, um, and I'm going to install uh, Express session. And finally, we can just get Morgan for some basic logging. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Uh, let me do npm init. Sorry. Ah. In the net session example. Right, cool. And let me run this command again. Install our packages from the registry. Make sure that's good to go. Awesome. So we got our packages. We go ahead and vim into our server. And uh, let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to do this a little bit bigger for us. Do var express, require express, var morgan equals require morgan, var session equals require express session. Um, and then I'm going to set up our app. So we say var app equals express. Uh, then I'm going to do app.use morgan in combined mode, whatever you want. You can also use dev. Um, I'm also going to use app.use express or app.use um, session. And this is going to take in the configuration object. And we're just going to set a secret here. And I'm just going to say uh, session testing. And maybe I'll do a follow up video. Really, I'm just going to try and show you the persistent uh, you know, back and forth. Okay, so next, what we can do is we can create a st static route called just a root. It's going to take in the you know, canonical request and the response. And make sure that's good to go. And so what we can do in here is we can say if uh, request.session.username, if there isn't a username, we can go ahead and set one. So we can say uh, we can do request.session.username is equal to Theo. And then we can also do, um, so we'll do the first time if there isn't a username um, and there isn't uh, request.session.visit count. Okay, then we're going to set both of these. Set that to one. Otherwise, put that back up there. Okay, we put that. We're going to say else. What do we want to do? We can do request.session. Um, dot visit count plus or equal to one. And then we find that we can respond. Do response.status, just 200. 
and we can send the request dot session. Make sure I got that. And then up here we can also send it. So we'll do response dot status, maybe 201, because we've actually created something. And uh, we can send the session as well. So let's go ahead and close this off. So let me go down here. We're going to do app.listen3000 function. And we can do response.log listening on port 3000. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's run it. Run server.js missing. Okay, let me fix that. It's line 10. Run server. And let's see. Review session. There we go. Let's load this. Thank you. Run server.js. Okay, cool. So we're listening on port 3000. Let's go ahead and try and actually access this route. There we go. So we get the first time we uh, we go there, okay, we actually get this a username with a visit count of one, and if we inspect, let's see if we can actually see this in our network tools, uh, actually let me, I have to restart it, but let me see real quick, let me refresh this, okay, so we actually are getting, um, check this out, so we're getting a 200 right here, and we're getting this cookie, which is part of the session, which is passed along with a username of Theo and a visit account. Okay, we don't have any of these properties set, really. Um, but uh, let me see if I can find out where our cookie is. Yeah, so our cookie, somewhere inside of here, our uh, secret is being hashed. So this isn't gonna work without the secret. Let me just you know, verify that for you guys. So let me go ahead and bend into the server. And then let me take out our secret. Check this out. This is no longer going to work if I don't have this in here. So if I just try and run it like that, it's not going to work. Okay, so let me save that. And let me try and run a bond server address. It's going to complain. Yeah, so, well, that's not. Hold on. Let me exit out of there. Go back. Run server. Session. And let me get rid of one of these. Okay. okay, so it's 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 running, but watch. See, we don't have a secret, so our session is not going to work. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. And uh, let's put our configuration object back in there. So inside of here, like what we had before, we're just gonna get the secret as super secret you know, whatever you want. And cool, so let's run that one more time. and sort of see what we're getting. Okay, so let's look at this. Look at our network traffic coming in. Refresh this, okay. So we've got a 201, and that's what we wanted. We've got our cookie, set cookie, uh, this ID, so it's getting hashed. Um, and then preview is you know, the user with the visit count, right? But if we actually go back out, refresh this, we're getting 200 with two, and this is only gonna go up now, three, you know, four, and it should actually work um, if, we, if we go ahead and close the browser. So we're getting five, so there you go. The session is still active, so. Pretty cool guys, just wanted to show you that uh, very quick tutorial about how to use Express, Express Session. I'm gonna do some follow-up videos with it on MeanStack authentication and just really uh, sort of learning how to uh, get that persistent login with your users and maintain it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.